So, in this video what I'm going to be doing is looking at planes of symmetry. Now planes of symmetry have to do with three dimensional shapes, such as this cuboid. And the concept is that I want to be able to cut this shape in half, um, but as it was for lines of symmetry, the two halves must marry up, as if they're going to fold together and make exactly the same shape. So imagine that, you, that this is a cake, for example, that we need to cut in half. So you could cut it in half straight down the middle, for example. Okay? So we could cut it in half this way. Make sure this actually looks alright. Like so. Okay, so you could cut it in half that way. Alternatively, we could have cut it down through the other middle. So, approximately there. like that. Okay, so we could have cut it down that way, or through there, okay? So that's two possible ways that we could have cut this cake in half. The third way may not seem so obvious, but imagine it as if it is like a Victoria sponge, uh, so that you're going to cut it in half so that you can put the cream filling in. So we could cut it through the middle like so. Okay? So that would be the third and final way to do it. Some of you may be thinking, well, well why didn't he cut it down diagonally? Okay, why can't you cut it diagonally? Well, for exactly the same reason as you can't cut a rectangle in the same way. So if I do a very faint sketch here, I can't put a line of symmetry in the diagonal because that side doesn't marry up with that side. If I fold, if I get a piece of A4 paper and I fold it down the diagonal, I won't get the marrying up either side. And exactly the same situation for the cuboid here. So there are only three ways to cut it. And it would only work that way if it was a cuboid, okay, so, well, sorry, a cube. So if all faces were the same size, then yes, it would work. But in general, it doesn't, okay, because of that problem there.